The Science Place celebrates the state fair in a big way each year. 2002 Sandscapes brings a little bit of the beach to North Texas. We are building a 150 ton sand sculpture that is 18 feet tall and the theme is the world in motion and things at the fair and uh, the very top is a uh, the Dallas skyline. We're also going to have a big T-Rex in there and we've got big Tex on the other side. Uh, JFK tribute, the cotton bowl, Ferris wheel, and many other things. Sand doesn't always have to come from the beach. Some sands originate through rivers, like those found in North Texas. Rivers such as the Trinity and the Brazos act as giant conveyor belts, moving rocks and gravel downriver from their sources constantly breaking apart grains into smaller and smaller pieces. Areas such as those near the city of Seagaville in southeast Dallas County contain high concentrations of these sands because the rivers, which once flooded over during the great ice age floods of the Pleistocene, dropped their sediments in great piles along the Trinity River. For their giant sand sculptures, Sandscapes brings in sand from a local quarry and only the right kind of sand will do. When we're looking for sand, we're looking for something that's uh, it's very unwashed, it's very silty, has a lot of uh, um, impurities in it because it sticks very well together, and the finer the better as well. It's usually masonry, brick sand, uh, or just a, a fill sand. Sand includes any type of sediment that contains individual grains that are between about one half and two millimeters in diameter. That's pretty small. Finer grain sediments are classified as silts, which are even more useful to sandscapes because of their ability to pack well when combined with water. The only secret is, is um, see the wood forms there? We pack it into the wood forms with a machine whacker and then put a smaller one on top of that and machine whack it again and then another one until you've got that wedding cake shape. And then we take the top one off and you've got a solid block of sand that's been packed. And that, that's the secret, it's just really well packed and um, it would have to rain very, very hard to do any damage. The intricate designs of the sculpture are quick to grab the kids' attention. And this year at the fair they've got a, a workshop for the kids, which I run, and they come in and try to make a miniature version of what we're making here. If, uh, if you want to start your young sand sculptors off the right way, um, get your local quarry to dump off a, a yard of sand, which is like a, about a ton and a half of unwashed fill sand in your yard, put some logs around it and let them go crazy, they'll love it.